Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm wearing a cowboy hat. Shark Squadron. But I got some really sad news for me. Y'all will probably jump on this offer. Like, no tomorrow. Okay. Everybody knows I run my horses in teal and purple. Well, that's changing. I'm going to start running my horses in purple and red. Because I'm come to the conclusion that I literally have no tail tag. So, and these reins are too short for my horses anyways. Like, I don't know what happened. I guess their necks got longer since I haven't rode them, but these are way too short. So, they are up for sale. And when I sell them, they will have my insignia. Well, my, um, Username on them. If the buyer wants it. But they. These rings, brand new, are gonna cost you about $35. With me making them. These are only $20. Well, $21, I mean. So, you get them fairly cheap. But that's not what this video is about. <laughs> um, I know I said I would wait and do the barrel racing videos on, in March, but I'm gonna go ahead and start doing them now. And I'm going and I wrote like a four-page paper on how to barrel race <laughs> for school. Because we had to teach, we have to teach our classmates. Let me get them in order. Our classmates something. So, what does Chloe only know? They're racing. So, Chloe's gonna tell you the steps on barrel racing. And the stuff, I took out the stuff I do because I full on train my horses to rain. Like sliding stock, back, etc. And it took me about six hours because I had to write it in class for two hours. Put it on another piece of paper that had any handwriting while set or left it at school long. Pretty sure I left it at school. Um, then I had to rewrite it when I got home by using Facebook because like what I had it on Facebook. <laughs> but anyways, when training a barrel horse, you must first teach your horse the basics such as backing, yielding the hindquarters, solid stop, circles. They also need to know a few other things such as leg pressure, side pass, leads, lead changes, which leads are walk, trot, can, and run. Lead changes are the cues that you give them to change. That's what I mean by lead changes. Rating, which is a big part. Move on. Move all parts independently. My bad. Move in. Arch. Some of this I didn't come up with. If it was me, I'd tell you to take your horse out, do leg pressures, side passes. Anything that pertains to raining. Because if you take a horse out and train it to rain, to do rain training, it basically gives them the stuff they need for rail racing. Um, soften at the pole, rating training, I think I already said that. Take off speed leaving the barrel, 
They need to have that push off speed, leaving that barrel, so they need to know how to rate, which is slow down, and they need to know what rate to leave that barrel. A lot of horses, when they leave the back side of that barrel, and they get to where they're ready to go to that second barrel, they'll jump forward. I love it. Um, pitting hind quarters, which is basically where you put your inside leg in and make them move that hind quarters around that barrel. I'll show y'all that with clover one day. Um, siphon at the mouth. If you don't want a real hard mouth horse running barrels. I have a really bad country accent. <laughs> you just now realized it. After you and your horse get this down, you will need a barrel saddle, one to two inch. Well, really, you need a one and a half to two inch saddle pad, a breast collar, bridle, front and back girth. You don't really have to have back girth, it just keeps the saddle from popping up and hitting me in the butt. Bell boots, front and back sports boots, which really ain't essential. Either one of those are, or polo wraps. Only polo wraps if you know how to wrap them properly. A whip, you don't have to have any of this stuff that I'm reading now. The other stuff, yeah, you need that to even ride a horse in the saddle. Um, tie down or war bonnet. Tie down strap, which is not essential to anything. Here are some tips to get you started bar racing. One, you will need to gain your horse's comp trust, your horse's confidence, trust, and respect. You can achieve this by spending time with them, with it, with your horse. Feeding, grooming, lunging, riding, hands-on, spending time, and spending time with them. Lunch him or her around the barrels. Be sure to start out slowly. At a walk and increase as you, your horse becomes more comfortable and confident with the new place and sitting you are in. Start off with your pattern. pattern. With your pattern set up and lead him or her around each barrel two times. Be sure to go to your left and right once. What I mean by going to your left and right once is like say that you're going to your first barrel. Well, lead them around it to the right, lead them around it to the left. <laughs> Just so that they are made to use both sides of their burn. When, then undo the pattern, set all the barrels up together, like when you have, like you have two right here, there's two of your barrels, here's your third one up here, so don't look like that, so it makes like a triangle thingy. Start, to, start your horse in circles. Then start to lunge your horse in circles at a walk. Ah, let me go to the next page. Dummy. Be sure to do each yeah, each gate a total of six times. Three times at a going to the right. Three times going to the left. You would think I would have this memorized. <laughs> this will ensure your horse is comfortable at all the barrels at all different directions.
So once you have gotten your horse comfortable and confident around the barrel pattern, you know, get them comfortable with the stuff that will be protecting their legs. Okay, basically, you get to get them comfortable. My first suggestion would be don't do the back legs first. <laughs> do the front legs. Get some kind of front legs first so that they're not trying to kick you in the face. Because I've literally have seen a girl about to get kicked in the face by a thoroughbred. Because the thoroughbred was not used to hind boots. Well, Thoroughbred wasn't used to the back, the front boots yet either, or the front wheel boots. So, Thoroughbred got aggravated, which are, it's a hot headed Thoroughbred. So it got aggravated. And, um, she kicked at the person and uh, took off the person's head. Person went flying backwards to get away from that horse. I don't blame them. <laughs> I would not want to go to the yard because I. And then have to explain, well, she was married. She was married, too. I'd hate to have to put the ER and explain to my husband why I got kicked in the head. No, that was not me, because no, I'm not married. <laughs> and like anything else, like any other horse, you will need to lend your horse. Starting off with a slow gait to get them used to it. They're going to curl hot. They're going to buck. They're going to... Step high, that's all normal. And then basically you're going to reset up your pattern into the way you want it. I suggest going to the side that your horse is less motivated of using. Like if your horse does good on the right, go to the left, first barrel. If your horse is good on the left, go to the right, the first barrel. Next but do work on both sides to get your horse using the left and right side of his brain because horses have two sides of their brain. You're going to want to start off at a walk. They're going to want to pick up to a different speed once they get comfortable with that and confident. Don't push them. Make them stay at that walk. And then once you are comfortable and confident that your horse is ready to go into that trot, put him in the trot. Once your horse gets comfortable and confident with it, he'll want to pick up speed. Don't do it. Same thing with the walk. Keep him at that slow speed, let him get com let yourself get comfortable with it. And confident. Then go up to the higher speed. Once you get past, once you and your horse get past the canter, you're ready to go to the trail. But to season your horse, I would highly suggest, because this is my own experience, I would highly suggest not entering any competitions, just doing the um, training ones, and then um, doing the training ones, and then hitting it. If I did at least twice in training barrels to see how your horse done. And if it's the same show, it's the same day. Just back to back. And then, um, see how your horse does and if he does pretty well. See him on in the show ring. If he does good, then. By all means, they were going to after that, I guess. But I would at least do a seasoning of just doing training barrels and then doing an actual show. That's the way I would do it. That's the way I suggest doing it. That's the way Dixie will be done. Clover, she still hasn't been seasoned yet because we don't go to many shows. Um, but while I'm on here, I'm also going to say that there probably will not be many videos after I get into the trip after we move into the trailer. Just for the mere fact that I am planning on getting a job. And they can. So that I can get the horses and the cats up. 
Hogwarts and Dukes and Dragons hats that they're on floating around different ones. And, um, a new Hofter. Because I want them to have something to show him. Personally. But, I also need a new pair of reins. Like, ASAP. That's why I'm selling mine. Because I'm using these blue ones. Which look purple. They're really blue. I've had these for... This one's about five. So I've had those for like 11, 12 years. So it's four or five. This is when I got my first horse. This is when I got those. So I've had them for 11 or 12 years. Me and my nasty coffee. We're going inside. And yes, it's raining. So y'all better love me. I'm making this video. Hope you have a great day. Bye.